What's up, everybody? I'm at the gym right now, and I wanted to turn around and talk to y'all about why is it that you are not meeting the goals that you want to meet right now when it comes to going to the gym and getting in shape. First and foremost, you're not committed. And what I mean by you're not committed is, is that if you're truly committed to something, you're not going to turn around and let anything stand in your way and stop you from getting to where it is you want to go. For instance, I know some of you get off work real late. Some of y'all turn around and go to work real early. Whichever one that is, that's fine. But the problem is, is that you're not committed to the goal of changing your body for the better. It doesn't mean that you got to be this, you know, universal sex symbol or whatever that nonsense is about. But the point is, is that you're trying to change yourself for the better, to turn around and make your health better. For instance, your blood sugar is really um, poor. You have high blood sugar, high blood pressure. You have obvious instant reasons for you to turn around and make changes in your life to turn around and accommodate the needs that you have to in order for you to change your body right you're not making those changes like you're going out and eating everything you can find instead of setting taking time out during your weekend if you have a weekend and making your meals and prepping them over time yes i know it gets tedious it gets boring eating the same thing over and over again it you know I, you know, you're tired of chicken, you're tired of turkey, ground turkey, you're tired of rice, you're tired of broccoli, I get it. But if you have a goal and you're absolutely committed to it, that you're going to turn around and regulate your blood sugar better, you're gonna get this hypertension under control. Why are you eating high sugary, high salty foods when you know your blood sugar is gonna spike through the roof, when you know your blood pressure is gonna spike through the roof? Why are you not going to the gym on a consistent basis when you know that you need to exercise in order to reduce your body weight, to reduce the stress on your knees, to reduce the stress on your back, to reduce the stress on your feet? These are all things that prompt you to want to or need to lose weight. It doesn't mean when I talk about losing weight, I'm not, I'm not talking about losing weight in the fashion of cosmetics and looking good and, you know, that's all extra stuff right but the truth of the matter is, is that you need to turn around and make these changes because your life depends on it your family depends on it you depend on it and you're not making the changes to necessarily do that you're not committed you don't believe that your mortality is tied to your size I'm gonna say that one more time you don't count you don't consider your mortality close to your um, consider it to your size now I know you hear me all the time talk about size is not really the issue and that is true what i'm talking about is is that you are physically not in the right version of yourself based on your body type you are not you don't have the muscle mass you are relying on poor mecha body mechanics in order to support your weight because you do not have the physical strength nor the physical capability to support yourself physically in the condition you're in right now number one so number two is the reason why you're not, you know, making your goal on you know, reaching your goals when it comes to your fitness is you are not eating the right foods or you're not eating at the right time. Obviously, you don't have to turn around and eat bird seeds in order to lose weight. I think that's totally, totally unfair and total BS. You do not need to do that. What you need to do is, and also you don't need to starve yourself. You don't have, need to put yourself in this, you know, nasty um diet where you all you're eating is, is lettuce leaves and pine cones you know that that's not what this is all about what it's all about is is eating the right amount of proteins the right amount of fats the right amount of carbohydrates and the right time to eat all three you don't just simply just eat because you're hungry you have to eat to supply your body with the fuel that it needs in order for you to perform when you need to perform so that means when you train with me or when you train with any other personal trainer you need to eat at least two and a half hours before you get to the gym why because the maximum amount of time that you can go without eating is four hours i'm gonna say it again the maximum amount of time you can go without eating is four hours so that means if you're in the gym from you know, two and a half hours after you've taken your last bite of food, that means you've worked out for an hour with your trainer or you've worked out for an hour on your own. And then after that, you got on the treadmill, or you got on a Stairmaster, or you got on a, on a bike for another half an hour and started burning fat that way. And then immediately after you're done, you go get something to eat. All right. So that means you need to turn around and put yourself in a position to where you go no more than four hours at any given point in time without eating. So, number one, be committed to what you're wanting to do. 
Because I guarantee you, if you wanted to turn around, if you were committed, if, if it came down to your kids, if it came down to your wife, if it came down to your husbands, I guarantee you, you would do what was necessary to make sure that they did what they needed to do. Right now, we're under construction in the gym right now. So what I'm telling y'all is, is that you'd be more committed if your family's life depended on it, if your kid's life depended on it. You would turn around and make your kids eat properly if they were the ones who were not in the best shape possible and they were hypertensive, they were diabetic, they were arthritic in their knees and in their back and in their feet and all of, all these other issues and hypertension and all these other issues that comes along with obesity, two different things. Weight and obesity is two different things. That's a, that's a body fat to muscle ratio issue versus your numerical weight. You can weigh a thousand pounds. If your body fat percentage is under 20%, you're relatively healthy. Just want to put it out there. So, number one, you're not committed. Number two, you are not eating properly. You are not eating the right amount, the right types of foods, and you're not eating at the right time. Meaning you've eaten breakfast in the morning and you haven't eaten anything all day, and then you expect to turn around and go to the gym and perform well, you're not. You're gonna turn around and be um, nauseous, lethargic, and you're not gonna be able to put your best positions out there. So, make sure you are very much committed to your goal. Make sure you are putting forth your opportunity to be the best version of yourself. So what that means is, is if you gotta get up a little earlier to go to the gym, go do that. If you gotta go to the gym a little later after work, go do that. Or if you gotta go during, your, during a, a small portion of your lunch break, go do that too. That means you find a way if you were trying to look for another job, you do it, right? If you were trying to become a new, a, a serious actor or actress, and you were at your job at this time and you had an audition at another time, you'd make that audition, wouldn't you? Right? If you were going to school, you would be making time for that too, right? So, why are we not making time for ourselves to be healthy and be around for our family and our friends for longer periods of time? I'm not trying to get y'all skinny, people. I promise you, I'm not trying to make y'all skinny. I am trying to get y'all in the best shape possible for you to survive this planet and to survive the arduous task of living your life. All right? Peace. Have a nice day. Be the best you. And oh, by the way, before I forget, like, share, subscribe, and follow me, not only here on YouTube, not only here on Instagram, and not only here on Facebook, but also follow me on StyleFitness.com. Peace.